everybody, Tom Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. The time I'm making this video, I'm preparing to do a live stream, but just before I do it, I'm gonna try to get this one in. This is our June outlook here. We're gonna be looking at this a little bit later down the line here and revising this right at the beginning of next month. But of course, as I mentioned before, moderate risk of severe weather. Some of you probably already saw that, had uh, seen this video by the time this one will come out at this point, but yeah, I'm trying to keep the output going, keep the content rolling here because there's far more to cover beyond just the severe weather season. Fire threats even been pretty crazy too. But in any case here, we're getting into this June outlook and there's some interesting things I've made note of here. For one, pattern change is imminent. We can clearly see signs of a little bit of cooling over here towards Southern California and Southwestern California. Also towards Alaska, we're seeing a little bit of cooler than average temperatures over here towards the west side of the state. Toward, if this was more towards the south, I'd be interested in seeing how the overall precip pattern pans out, but I still think it's going to be pretty busy. I think we're going to get a little bit of a mixed bag here instead of just being bombarded like we've been throughout this month here. Greatest probability right now of above average temperatures is towards the desert southwest here and towards southern Texas while some of the other areas over here are leaning a little bit into the lighter colors of above average here so may not have a huge contrast in temperatures over here still doesn't mean that it won't be hot across the board and then over of course towards the northern plains you'll have valley in the northeast could be dealing with about average temperatures here for the looks of it so not overall a bad look for some of us over towards the south here especially towards the southern plains still could be pretty crispy over here so to speak as far as precipitation is concerned, it's not a surprise that with the way the pattern has been set up over towards the southwest, we're going to be struggling with the precip. It's going to be more so towards the central and eastern part of the U.S. where we get an increase in precipitation than towards the northwest. Jet streams kind of retreating a bit more at the moment, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to get that precip going. A lot of that precip is going to mainly stay to the north here, and hence why you can also see that little small area towards eastern Alaska with above average precip here. A couple other things to make note of here is we do have a pretty interesting setup in regards to our Enzo setup. We are, of course, going to be transitioning further into the... Dang, I can't get this to work, can I? We are going to be transitioning further into the La Nina look here. As we head towards June, July, August, JJA right here, you can see this blue line, which is the CPC console that we're going to be using here for this video. We're right at that negative 0.5 degrees Celsius mark, which is where we would start out with a La Nina phase. So with that being said, they've even issued a La Nina watch as we go forward here. The El Nino advisory is going to be ending soon here, and there's a heightened probability of a La Nina developing within June at nearly 50%. And then as we get into the month following, it actually increases from that point. So that's just kind of our that's kind of our wake-up call as things are going to change here. Now, one thing to make note of here, June 1st is also the start of hurricane season. So with hurricane season coming into play here. That could be a wild card in regards to our precipitation. Now, keep in mind, June historically is not an active month, but with the year being forecast to be as active as it is, there is a chance that that could throw some things out of whack here. So let's make sure we're keeping an eye on that. Now, in regards to the jet stream itself, this is what we're currently dealing with right now. With the way things are set up with our 500 millibar anomaly set up, we have storm system after storm system going through. This has pretty much been the look throughout the entire month of May. As we go to the next week, though, we do start to see some ridging going on out towards the west. This is going to help increase the temperatures over here. Do see some ridging going on, some uh, troughing, excuse me, going on towards the southwest briefly. So this could maybe bring the northern plains into a severe setup mode for a couple of those first few days in the month. After that, though, we do start to kind of level out a bit. We do have a cold air mass that sets up over the Ohio Valley and the Plain and the uh, Great Lakes here. So this could uh, make the weather a little bit nicer over here. With that warm air mass over the northwest here, it's going to keep things dry and pretty warm here. So there could be some very 
high temperatures over here, maybe even close to record, depending on where we are. As time goes on here, we're kind of getting into that more zonal pattern. So it does look like we potentially could get a little bit of a break in the action as we get into the first middle parts of the month in regards to severe weather. So we go beyond that point, though, we're still kind of waiting to see what happens next with that. It does look like we end up getting some ridging towards the end of this month. And then as we get into July here, jury's still out on this, but this could maybe favor a bit more of a peaceful pattern here. But this also weaken our wind shear as we get into maybe the month of July here. And like I said, the further along we get in the hurricane season with the war warm, warm waters that we already have in the Gulf here, that could be a bit concerning. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That being said, let's go ahead and look at our temperature anomalies really quickly. Go ahead and take a look at the pattern shift that we have going on here, where we end up going into a positive PNA where it's warmer out west, cooler out to the east. It's a great symbol of that right here. See these cool than average temperatures where we could be about maybe five to 10 degrees below average out towards east, up to 20 to 30, maybe above average, depending on the area we're in here. And as we continue to go forward, we do start to level out a little bit. As we get towards the middle of the month, this is where I think we'll start to see a little bit of a cool down process in regards to severe weather. And then eventually we start to shift once again as we get towards the middle and end of the month here. Eventually, I do think we end up kind of staying in that neutral, maybe warmer than average pattern across the board here as we go through the rest of June here. Now, as far as precipitation is concerned, kind of in it we've kind of entered an interesting phase here where the jet stream is going to start to retreat more to the north as time goes on. We're going to still see a couple of chances of severe weather through that first week of June, as I mentioned before. I think the Southern Plains could be a point of interest, but watch what happens as we continue to go forward. We start to see that moisture begin to retreat north as we go on the week to week basis here. So like I said, I do think there are opportunities up towards the Dakotas, maybe towards Nebraska, where we could see increased rainfall and severe weather potential. Then after that point, we start to push even further north all the way up into Canada at that point. And this is how we trend as we end the month of June and head into July after that. Last thing we can really look at here in regards to the pattern is also by looking at our oscillation areas. This is the Arctic oscillation over here, North Atlantic oscillation over here towards Greenland. Right now, as we look at things as they are, do have a negative phase over the NAO region and a positive phase over the AO region because there's more pressure over here. But watch what happens as we go forward. The time we get into that next phase, we do look like we get one more big storm system that could come in right before the middle of the month. And then after that, look how things start to change here. We end up in a positive phase for both the Arctic Oscillation and the North Atlantic Oscillation. This is going to help funnel in some cooler air over towards the northern states and it's help, gonna help keep the air out west pretty warm. As time goes on, it does look like we get another storm system that tries to pop up here as we get towards the back half of the month that may come into play. May have a couple opportunities at that, but still unclear at this range here. Now, the cold air mass starts to, the cold air masses start to struggle here, of course, as we get in the summer, so they may not pop up as prominently as we've been seeing. I still think a few storm systems are going to come in here and there, but I do think with the zonal pattern, this is going to affect more of Canada, actually. So in due time, maybe we could even have severe weather events and streams in Canada. So that'll be interesting. But as a whole here in regards to the U.S. right now, which is where most of the audience is, it does look like a pattern shift is going to be on the way where maybe we might start to get a little bit of a trickle down or a bit of a uh, break from the severe weather here, so to speak, which would be very much welcome because, man, it's been it's been brutal. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it useful. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button and obliterate that subscribe button. Also hit that share button. We're at 850 right now. I'd love to get to a thousand before the year is out, especially before I turn 30. But that being said, you guys have an awesome rest of your day, evening, whatever time this video hits you. But until then, take care. Have an awesome night. I'm signing off for the now Ty Metalhead Weatherman here.